Welcome to the guide on how to transport your items from each to our headquarters. There is also a written guide on uh, our homepage where you can find under info module articles and uh, there you have it under tutorial how to transport items from Hita to headquarters. So please take a look at that one. And there are a few rules which you need to take in consideration when you make a contract and you're gonna send stuff to our headquarters. There is actually a minimum reward of 5 million ISK per contract per 500 million collateral. In a few examples which I have, I'm gonna show you. I calculate 10 million ISK per 1 billion of collateral. Makes it a little easier for me, but it's up to you. But you have to calculate it anyway. And the minimum. The maximum collateral is 5 billion per any contract and the maximum cubic meters per contract is 50,000 so please do not go beyond that one. And also good uh, thing to know that new players you have 14 days of free logistics so get all your stuff to GTA, repack them and send them to the headquarters. Uh, when it comes to experienced player, uh, players been playing before, if you have orcas, you have blueprints or uh, things that are worth quite much, you talk to an officer and you come up with a plan on how to move your stuff safely with a logistic team. Um, I'm also gonna show you when it comes to the contract you can see there on the picture it says expiration should be four weeks and days to complete says six plus three days so usually I just put nine days over there it gives the logistics team a little bit more room to complete the contract so I'm gonna show you now how to make a contract I'm gonna take a few uh, random stuff here uh, make a contract remember ships and uh, modules everything remember to repack them so they take less space for example I want to move these things I just mark them up right click create contract I pick courier and I click on my corporation I also have to make sure over here that the stuff I want to move is marked, checked here in the box, which it seems. And uh, also remember, it's this contract is too much. If I had uh, repacked my ships, this is too large. So I have to cancel it. And I take uh, this stuff, make a new contract, click Carrier, my corporation, I click Next. See all the stuff here is smart. I could actually just unmark here if I want to make this contract smaller for me personally. It's easier to mark them up and right click contract. Here I can see I'm below 50,000 cubic meters. I have everything I want to send. I'm satisfied. I just click next. Uh, I type the destination of our headquarters. I click on estimate price I make sure it says four weeks nine days yeah. then when it comes to I see here the collateral is quite low actually it's uh, lower than 500 million so it's quite low but it's it's a uh, four three thousand twenty cubic meters means that I have to use the rule that uh, says 1000 isk per cubic meters so the reward for this contract should be 43 million 20,000 isk I remember you can also put a little bit extra there to motivate the logistic team to maybe do your contract a little bit faster of course then uh, when this looks good you just click next and you come to the last page here you can make sure once more, you have to write everything correctly. It's from Yita, Hyman, Collateral, the reward is correct, the days, the volume, and the items. From here on now, I just click finish, and you have successfully done a, a contract. I'm gonna show you quickly three examples 
how which cost you should go for when making a contract for example here we have a uh, example number one the contract size is only five cubic meters and the collector of this item is uh, two billion is so this means it's quite an expensive module or something like that when I use the rules to calculate the reward I there is two rules we used so reward number one it says it should be 1000 isk per cubic meters and in this case it is 5000 isk which is quite low <laughs> for this uh, big collateral when I calculate according to the reward 2 it says uh, the rule set f actually 5 million isk per 500 million isk but for me it's personal it's easier to calculate 10 million isk for 1 billion this case it will set, uh, put the reward up to 20 million isk so in this case I have to go for the reward number two show you example number two we have a contract that is uh, full and volume 50,000 cubic meters the collateral is the same as example number one two billion so when I calculate the uh, reward case 1, it was 1000 isk per cubic meters. In this case it will be 50 million isk. When I do it uh, according to the rule, which said 5 million isk per 500, in this case it, the reward will be 20 million isk. So in this case I have to go for the reward number 1. And example number three makes let's say you have a contract size of no 800 cubic meters. The collateral here is only 300,000 isk. So I calculate uh, according to the first case, 1,000 isk. In this case, will be 800,000 isk. The reward here on the case two is a uh, so low collateral. So we are not even close to 500 million or 1 billion isk so in this case we could go for the reward number one which is 800,000 isk I hope this makes it uh, much clearer on uh, how the reward should uh, be uh, if there are any questions can I ask in the corporation chat and we will help you as soon as possible fly safe out there dear regards through the horn